All right, the road is closed. I got. I need to go like not even a mile up ahead, and the road's closed. I just talked to these guys. They said, "Well, you can follow the dump truck if you want." He's going over. Just watch. It's a little bit bumpy going through this closed bridge area. Fuck. I'm almost there. And all these country roads, I have no idea how I would get there otherwise. Um, the Rivendale farm. Got no signal out here either, so I'm supposed to text the guy. I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I guess we're gonna go over this thing. Price is averted, although it says detour 1500 feet. I need to go like a half mile up ahead. Now I got a detour to the right. Darn it. I don't know how the GPS is going to recalculate with no signal. Wow, beautiful grounds out here. Just arrived at Rivendale farm in Smith Township, or I guess near Bulger, PA. Kind of showing up here on late notice, uh, just getting in touch with a the guy. They're just starting to sell their chocolate milk in different places. They provide the Pittsburgh Pirates with chocolate milk. And this ball's hit in the air to center field. Going back is Desmond to the wall, and it is gone into the bullpen! And I think they've donated it to some races and stuff like that. That's how I've seen it uh, on Twitter, so it's not super out there yet even though they're selling in at least in one place in washington now all right there it is thanks so much to rob who met me out here and took me around hooked me up with the chocolate milk and neil for taking the call on short notice and and introducing me to rob and inviting me out to the farms super cool uh really looking forward to trying it rivendale pittsburgh area uh be on notice for when this stuff hits the stores because i'm sure you're going to want to pick it up okay hanging out out back behind the dumpster Kind of an unceremonious and uh, highly incongruous setting, especially compared with Rivendale Farm, the idyllic, rural, beautiful space they have out there, and the really classy chocolate milk that they provide. It's got a really mature feel, with strong cocoa that you kind of sense on the sides of your tongue, and a cream that has a hint of wild, which I've become increasingly sensitive to, and I really like it. It's gonna be hard to find better chocolate milk than this in Pennsylvania or anywhere. Burger Farm Dairy in Evans City, Pennsylvania. There's an awful lot of distribution trucks, and it looks like this is an actual plant. I'm gonna look for a door that maybe they have a store here otherwise you might have to find it at like a local grocery store if they don't actually sell it here okay so there's a different experience you go up into this little office area and you pay cash and they give you this order form and then you go over to the docks and pick it up I think it's kind of strange for someone just to pick up two pints uh, not drive a truck over and make a big pickup but that's what we're gonna do Wow, it's actually quite good. It's dense and creamy and uh, a successful visit. Delicious chocolate milk from our burger farm dairy here in Evans City. And uh, look forward to drinking the review copy also. Really nice out here at Windy Ridge Dairy in Fombell, Pennsylvania. Spoke with Liesel and Lindsay, and you will not find nicer, cooler people at a dairy than the ones here. Can't stick around for too long here, unfortunately. Gotta move on to State College, but I'm gonna down some of this and uh, I'm gonna be on my way. Okay, so here goes. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's one of those ones on first taste you're like, Holy shit. Uh, you know, the, the, saying something tastes like melted chocolate ice cream it can be a little bit of a cliche, you know, because of course it sort of does. This doesn't taste like melted chocolate ice cream. It tastes like melted chocolate, super good. If you have really good chocolate ice cream, it's like that. 
Uh, kind of like the, uh, the ice cream we had in Vigo in Ljubljana, which is the best ice cream I've ever had. It's like melted that. It's super good. Yeah, the cocoa hits you early and often. The cream makes that flavor stick around but not deteriorate. It disperses beautifully. This is among the best chocolate milks in the world. I can say that confidently. Woo! Windy Ridge Dairy, Fond Bell PA. You have to come here to get it. So time spent not coming out here to get it, I'm gonna consider that wasted. So get after it. Up. So how is this stuff? Is it the best collegiate uh, based chocolate milk? So far I'd have to say yes. It's the only hole I've had so far. Uh, the others have all been 1%. The flavor doesn't beat you over the head, but it's there and it's, it's fairly subtle and the consistency is nice. It does leave a little bit of powder on the tongue afterwards. And all in all, it's a it's a good, legitimate, whole chocolate milk drinking experience. The best I've had so far out of college. Of course, there's still a few out there that uh, I need to pick up. Um, so we'll do a separate segment on that once I get all of them. Okay, so this morning in reviewing the Penn State Berkey Creamery chocolate milk, uh, I just want to make a quick mention as to how it compares to the Dr. Pete's recovery drink. Not that you'd expect these to taste similarly, they certainly don't. The Penn State chocolate milk is much more, like a pretty much straight down the middle whole chocolate milk. It's, it's delicious for sure. It's chocolate enough. I was a little tired yesterday when I first took a sip and I'd had so much so much else that uh, it was a little bit harder to pick out the chocolate flavor. This uh, recovery drink, and it's got less fat, more sugar, more protein, and, and all that. To me, it had sort of a very much wet cardboard type of a taste. Uh, I think that comes from the soy. If you could, if you know what soy tastes like, there, were, there is soy protein in here. And uh, it pervaded through the flavor. It was less sweet than I expected it to be. I expected it to be pretty sweet. So for me, I'd still, I would reach for the normal stuff way before I would reach for this. So even though this may be better, quote unquote, for recovery, uh, in terms of, if you're gonna have to work out in the first place, and it would be more motivating, at least for me, to know that this was waiting for me at the end, and uh, not the Dr. Pete's, nothing against Dr. Pete. I'm sure he's a heck of a guy, um, and I'm sure it's a successful thing there at the school, but uh, I just like the regular straight up Berkey Creamery chocolate milk a lot better. Okay, just got the Meyer Dairy in State College, PA. It's the last stop of the day. It's been a long day. All right, so Meyer Dairy. Cute little institution in there. It's the only creamery I've ever seen also that has a covered wagon on the inside. It's a cool gimmick and probably a real artifact from back in the day. Here's the chocolate milk. It's 2% also. You know, it's nicely creamy for 2%. It's very creamy, and that's the predominant flavor. It's not super chocolatey. It's a little bit more of a muted chocolate flavor. It seems to outperform its fat content from that regard, sort of like Oberweiss, except Oberweiss had a much more stronger uh, cocoa component to it. But it is similar. It gets a lot of indulgence for the fat content it has, and I respect that. Kind of in a rush uh, when I was leaving there and I had to pee real bad, so I didn't want to drink it. I didn't drink the other stuff, man. I got to pee real bad, so I have to find, they, they have no public restrooms in there. And uh, so we'll just find a gas station or something like that, hit that up. 